Dear Mr. Sweeney, as a part of my eighth grade assignment, I was directed to choose someone who I believe represented a hero. As, as you, you can probably, probably tell, tell, I have chosen you because I believe you are a great representation of a hero. I admire you for starting a program after coming out of hard times. You didn't just come up with the idea and put it off for another time or wait for someone else to come up with the idea. You, you got, got yourself, yourself out of your situation and started building on an idea that you believe could change the lives of innocent children. If, if I'm, I'm being, being honest, when I was researching, I hadn't been expecting a boxing program to change many people's lives. But I'm but not I'm too much a fan of boxing, and that might have influenced my thinking. How much did you impact the lives of these kids? Had you expected to change so many? How would you spread the word if and when you decided to expand? I don't know if you're smart or nice. Both characteristics that someone would consider a need for someone to be a hero. But you prevent children from making a mistake that changes their lives completely. And coming from a student in Alton, New Hampshire, that's good enough for me. We'd like to welcome those customers who are in group B to board this time. Those customers who are in groups A and B only are invited to board. I had actually asked one of my classes how many of them had heroes one day, and there was not a single hand up. And I decided that, you know, that wasn't something that was acceptable, that there are too many people out there doing good things. A little cold out here than what I thought. It's cold, it's cold. We were giving, given envelopes, envelopes to choose from on the back wall of Miss Griggs' room. And uh, the one I happened to choose was Kali Sweeney. Where are we going? Where are we headed? Yeah, where are we going? New Hampshire, man. <laughs> we were, you forget or something? <laughs> As a child, Kali was abandoned, so he turned to the only place he knew, the streets of Detroit. The people he turned to provided protection and the sense of family he needed. But as he had said, it came at a price. I can't even she had to research the downtown uh, boxing gym youth program. She had to research Kali, and then she had to come up with a letter about um, why she thought he was a hero and questions that she would ask if she actually had an opportunity to. Going to New Hampshire to meet Val, young lady who wrote a very inspiring letter. Never been to this place before in my life. New Hampshire. It's a beautiful place, though. You know, the kids who come and thank me, the ones who do, I say to those guys, like, you know, as much as you think I helped you, you helped me more. Because before I didn't have a purpose, and now this gives me a purpose to live. So a man without purpose is a man lost. And those kids give me purpose, and those kids motivate me. Keep, keep me going forward. And so for a young girl to write me a letter that feel like it's pushing me forward, I gotta meet her in person. I gotta tell her thank you. You know, our school system in Detroit may be a little different. You know, you got guys there that are honor students in, in Detroit, and they're honor students. Right. but they're reading at a fourth or fifth grade level. So, so how are they honor students and what system are you judging these kids on? Our realities are very different. New Hampshire is very different than yeah. Michigan. And so I'm really excited to see how they hear your message. Um, Val, come up here for a second. Remember we said that he wanted to Skype with us? Um, he decided to do a little more than that. Can I introduce Mr. Kali Sweeney from Downtown Boxing Gym Youth Program from Detroit, Michigan. I was so shocked. I was really shocked. I was not expecting that at all. I was so surprised I actually wanted to cry but you know I don't I didn't how could I ever expect someone to respond that way to you know a, an assignment that I gave you know to fly out here and then 
fly right back. It's beyond what we could have imagined. Hello everybody, how you guys doing? <laughs> My name is Coach Kali, I'm from the downtown boxing gym in Detroit, Michigan. I wanna tell you, um, this young lady right here, she inspired me. Every day people call me a hero. Every, every day people say I do all these nice things, but they don't know that I have bad days too. I was really stressed out one week and I got a letter from her and it, and it picked up my spirit. It made me feel good. Had you expected to change so many lives? That was, that was her first question. Did I expect to change so many lives? You know what? It was my hope and my dream to touch as many people as possible. I had no idea that people in places as far away as New Zealand and, and Spain would hear about what we're doing in the community. So my goal was to touch as many people as possible, but I, knew, I never knew that it would grow this fast because I was just one person. What is the one message you would have me give my students as a teacher to try and get them to use their own power for good? Oh man, that's a, that's a tough one, that's a tough one. I mean, if you have, like what she said in her letter, she was saying that I had an idea and I didn't wait around for somebody else to come up with it. I actually went out and put the work in. So if you have a good idea that can, that can change the world in, the, in, a, in a better way, go for it. I'm so honored to meet him, meet somebody like Holly Sweeney who changes lives every single day. I like this. You just, uh... For her to be able to meet him and to actually have one-on-one -on -one conversation with him is extraordinary. And it's extraordinary for the students to see that their words have meaning. And when I saw your letter, I was like, she's cool. Well, for me, it means everything that I can open the, you know, open the world up to the, my students. Um, for Val, she is never going to forget this. You can't meet enough people like him. You just can't. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Wonderful experience, wonderful trip, great family. <laughs> the most fun all this year.